today I am going to be sharing with you my go-to travel luggages and accessories. So I know it's kind of a weird time right now with travel being so unpredictable but as we move towards this new year and with a lot more people getting vaccinated and also being able to travel more I wanted to be able to share with you guys some of my go-to travel luggages and accessories if you are new here, my name is Ivy and I do these types of videos um, ranging from all kinds of topics from fashion, luxury bags, reviews, and today about travel luggages. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I guess let's get right to it. I have a couple of different types of travel bags and accessories depending on how long I'm going to be staying at a particular place and how much I'm allowed to even carry. Just a quick note though, I'm a pretty light slash minimalistic traveler overall even when it comes to international travel so a lot of the items that will be featured here today don't go farther than maybe a large carry-on so if you're looking for someone who travels a little bit more heavy in just terms of how much stuff they actually bring this might not be the right video for you I'm just focusing on very light travel luggage, a carry-on, maybe a additional weekend or bag and things of that nature. So I'm going to be starting off with the very first carry-on slash luggage that I ever purchased for myself which is this Calpac carry-on. I purchased it when I was in college. This has been with me for close to 10 years now and at the time Calpac was retailing for about $125. I know nowadays this particular carry-on actually sells for $225 similar to like Away or maybe the other types of brands they have currently out there. I'm not quite sure if there has been any changes in the material and how exactly the you know the overall structure of the bag has changed in the last few years but from what I've seen on the site it doesn't look like there were so many changes I took this with me on a couple international trips actually this has been with me to Japan which was a trip of almost two weeks and then it has also been with me when we traveled to Europe a couple years back and that was also about two slash two and a half weeks this was my only luggage slash carry-on at the time I did bring like another small overnight weekender bag but for the most part this has actually lasted me a very very long time yeah, as you can see it has quite a bit of scuffing and just scratches from being handled roughly but that's kind of what you're going to get when you purchase any luggage I definitely recommend getting something that can handle that ruggedness yeah I really love this bag it has served me very well so next up I have this away bag with the removable battery pack comes out like that so this is a newer addition to my travel luggage honestly the reason why i got it is because my husband didn't currently have his own carry-on so we were looking for something that we could both share and use so we went with away um, just because it was great for its price point and it also came with that removable battery pack which i think is super useful especially when Obviously, you're traveling, you need to charge your phone, items, things like that. One thing to note is this is their larger carry-on, which I think is slightly bigger than the OG carry-on. does fit quite a good amount of stuff, and you can definitely pile on a pack of things in this luggage. So another big reason why I decided to go with Away is that it does come with a limited lifetime warranty, which according to their website, it covers any damage to the shell, wheels, handles, zippers, or anything else that impairs the functionality of the luggage. So that was like a big one for me just because again when you're dealing with traveling and luggage they have to be able to withstand the ruggedness of those trips. So knowing that it has that sort of warranty where if you damage the luggage in any sort of way that they'll basically either repair it for you or just give you a new one that's a huge relief and peace of mind for any consumer who 
uses and travels very frequently so that was a definite pro for me pretty much it for my carry-on slash, slash bigger luggages uh, uh, moving on to more of the bag slash accessories i do have the weekender bag from away as well and i got it in the matching beige color so that it can match this whole set i think this is actually one of my favorite weekenders you can use it on its own you don't have to use it with this luggage obviously it's really great for any sort of two three maybe even four days worth of clothing depending on your trip also has a lot of really cool pockets and just like inserts so that you can fit any of your tech stuff phones chargers and in the bottom it also comes with this lining where you can insert your shoes or anything that you don't want to touch the clothes or stuff that you're putting in inside the actual bag which i think is super useful and again it has this sort of insert flap yeah just like that yeah it makes it really easy to insert inside this handle and just keeps everything locked and in place so you don't lose anything so overall i love this set and you can also mix and match you don't have to get the same colors and this bag i believe retails now currently for 165 and this larger carry-on retails for 245 um, on a way one thing i do want to note is that they tend to have a lot of coupons and just like deals so make sure you're on the lookout for any of those types of discounts just so you know you can save a little bit of money and you don't have to pay the full price so next up here i have a new purchase which is this davna dover landon carryall in the size medium this was a very recent purchase of mine i didn't want anything that was too bulky but something that was made of really good quality material one thing i actually love about this bag and it's just like a quick feature that i want to highlight is that there are so many pockets there's literally just pockets on pockets on pockets it also has that inner flap that you saw on the away weekender bag which is super cool because that means you could also use it for the same purpose another feature that i'd like to highlight is that it does expand so if you take off this snap lock over here, you can actually make it bigger and larger and it will allow you to fit more stuff. This is a really great alternative for you know people who are looking for a smaller overnighter kind of bag. It's also great because you can definitely use it for the gym. This is kind of my main use for it right now, but I will be traveling with this on a quick overnight trip too. So definitely a lot of uses you can get out of this. I also wanted to feature these packing cubes, which I will insert a picture somewhere here. Um, basically, they're just your regular old pa packing cubes that is super useful to just organize all of your different stuff and it can keep things from touching each other, especially if you have, you know, clothes that you already wore during your trip. You can make sure everything is separated. I bought mine from Amazon just because they have very good quality packing cubes there that you don't have to break the bank for because i do know that away and some of these other luggage brands also have their own set of packing cubes but yeah i'll make sure to link that down below as well and last but not least i have this timbuktu backpack which is not actually a main go-to luggage of mine it's actually my husband's but i wanted to feature it because he gets a lot of use out of this and Oftentimes when I'm not wanting to bring a backpack myself, we kind of just stuff my stuff in here too. So in a sense, this is also kind of something I use as well. We love this because it's more for your tech materials and laptops, iPads, things like that. It's built for that kind of lugging around. So yeah, it's really great. I love how it has all these different features. And when you open it, you can actually open up the entire bag this way so putting in clothes or shoes and things like that is very easy and it does expand quite a bit so you definitely will have a lot of space this is actually something that he uses more for overnight and when we travel more for domestic or maybe even international trips it also comes in very handy because you can use this throughout the day when you know you're going around and exploring the city that you're in and it makes for a really good sort of commuter luggage as well it's really cool because Timbuktu also has a limited lifetime warranty as well and they were actually able to replace 
the original backpack I got him and gave him actually something that was from a newer line. And one, the original one got damaged. He was able to turn that into Timbuktu. They tried to repair it when they couldn't. He got an entirely new backpack. So that's very, very cool. I would definitely look into other brands that do this because again when you're traveling it just gives you peace of mind knowing that if you break anything that you can get a new one or you can get it repaired and that is it for this video um best of luck to anyone there who is considering traveling anytime soon i know that for me at least international travel is definitely not going to be on the line unfortunately but I'm hoping sometime in 2022, maybe even 2023, that it'll be a lot easier to travel out of the country. But yeah, I think all of these different options slash choices would be great for any kind of traveling, especially domestic traveling, or maybe even if you're just going on an overnighter or a weekend trip. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.